These are very challenging and historic times for Republicans. We've had Jerry Adams' recent announcement that he intends to step down in the near future. We have the whole backdrop of Brexit. We have political crisis in the south. We have the stalled momentum in the talks in the north. We have the challenge of the DUP Tory uh, deal and the austerity uh, and the hard Brexit potential that that brings for the people of Ireland. So throughout all of that, our great strength as, Rep as Republicans over the course of all the challenges we've faced over the last uh, decade has been to cohesion, uh, discussion among ourselves, to, to uh, make sure that we listen to our own base, make sure that we talk out all of the issues that we face. And tonight's one such opportunity where we're going to engage with activists from right across the six counties here in Belfast. Uh, and we're going to brief them on where we're at uh, across those whole range of issues, take soundings from them and ensure that there's political discussion happening not just in this room tonight but right across the entire organisation and across the community that we represent. We've had hundreds of activists here this evening for a really good engagement where we were talking about all the topical issues of the day. We were talking about Brexit, we were talking about the impending election in the 26 counties, we we're talking about the implications of, over in Westminster, our, how strong our MP teams have been since they've been elected earlier this year. They have really lifted the bar, they have shown the people who gave us their vote, who supported our abstentionist policy, what actually you'll get when you get a working MP. Our MPs have been amazing. I think the tone of the conversation tonight was very, very interesting because people are looking at everything in the round. They're looking at the fact that politics is in flux. In flux. What they're looking at is the fact that people here in the north, people on the island of Ireland, are worried about the implications of Brexit. So our activists want to go out of this room tonight. They want to be going out raising the issues. They want to be engaging with people. And we want them to go out and be on the doors, to be talking to the business community, to be talking to the community and voluntary sector, to be talking about life here and what we want to do to improve society. So there's big, big work plans ahead for the Sinn Féin team. This has been an amazing year. It's been a very emotional year. It's been a tremendous year in terms of electoral success. But for us, it's about what do we do now with the support that the people have given us. And we're going to go out and we're going to fight their corner in relation to Brexit. We're going to go out and we're going to campaign for a border poll. We're going to go out and fight for good public services. We're going to stand with healthcare workers. We're going to stand with the community and voluntary sector who do such amazing work in society. Because what Sinn Féin are about is bringing about a united Ireland, bringing about a new Ireland. An Ireland that we plan together, unionists and nationalists alike, because that is going to be crucial and that will be the success of the future that we're working towards. Sinn Féin, Goanna Nis Carta Agus Eintas Naharan, Equality, Rights and Irish Unity.